Okay, so uh, in today's lecture, basically, we will try to develop a very simple application and we will name it COVID registration apps for students. Okay, the idea is that we will develop an app from zero to end uh, with a very basic simple feature that a student will or a teacher or a faculty will have a screen. They will select that whether they are student or teacher, then they will be given a particular form. They will enter the details within the form and click on register and their data will be registered on our system. Okay, so that will allow us to know that which student has actually um, registered or not. Okay, so um, let's let's build that particular app in this particular tutorial. A very simple Android app from A to Z. Okay, let's begin. If you're here for the first time, please don't forget to visit my page and subscribe to the channel. You will find that on my channel, there are more than 500 video lectures based on PHP, Mail Scripting, Maya, Maya Embedded Language, uh, 3D graphics from developing HTML, CSS, JavaScript to working on Android, Photoshop, multimedia technology, and so on and so forth. So these tutorials will be very helpful and very productive for you. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and receive notifications regularly. So once you uh, come here, let's start the Android uh, Studio. Once Android Studio is here, we will go into a new project. And as you know that we have a basic functionalities available already here. Now uh, we can create multiple activities, multiple uh, environments, but like I've said, I'm starting with empty activity for now. Okay, um, so that we understand how we develop everything from scratch. Then in future examples, we will be using bottom navigation. We will be using this drawer navigation where draw is basically opening from the left side. Similarly, tab navigation, this is again done and we can mix and match these activities as well. Hum apni bhi ye sari activities manually bana sakte hain. Theek hai. Toh, ab gradually sab cheezen karte chalenge. For now, mein start karta hoon, mere bhai ke ek empty activity humare paas a jai. Let's go next. Next par aage, ab mujhse ye pooch raha hai bhai yaan ke aap kya banana ja rahe ho. Mainne naam de diya BS software uh, EVE underscore COVID REGIST registration. Okay. So COV ID, COVID registration ki ek hum app banate. Now, as we have already discussed, make sure when you are in this particular app, um, the package name is set to your own particular package. So I will set BS software evening so that I know that this is particular my evening class uh, project package name. Location, same location. I've been serving all my projects, Java, and then Android Lollipop is what I've been using for all this time. Okay, so we give it a name, package name, we just update it and click on finish. Okay, now once you click finish, we know that Android will start, it will work and create the project and create everything for us. Now again, idea is very simple. We create an app. Now when we talk about creating an app, the main thing that you need to understand is that in each app, there is no single window. Kisibi app can there egg window nayoti. There's no single interface. There are multiple layouts. Up you click on one option, second option pop ups, you click on second, third option pops, then you click on third, fourth option pops up. Similarly, you navigate between various different options within an app. So our, our object is that how do we create this app? Within Android, these are known as activities. First page, layout one, activity one. Next page, layout two, activity two. Here, okay, pe click ya, tisra pe option agya. Third activity which is basically third layout, okay? So once you want to create and navigate between these multiple frames, multiple layouts, multiple interfaces of user, we are considering them as activities within Android. So Android can there, agar aap chaare ho ke aapki application ko jis tarikai se kaam kare, ke uske andar multiple user interface ho mein okay karu to next pe jaya, phir okay karu to next pe jaya, phir mein data dun, phir save karu to phir mere paas mein ya, means screen aapki jo apps ke andar tabdeel hoti rati hai. Technically, this is considered as what we refer to as our um, activities. One second. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. No, madam, I'm very busy in class. Um, okay, I'm two hours in my class. I'll talk to you later. Thank you, Nafis. Okay. So, um, basically, a simple concept that uh, in Android, in order to have multiple uh, layouts and multiple windows, we give it name of activities. Ka. So, in order to create multiple activities, you have to create multiple uh, layouts, create karne ke liye multiple activities. Banani you need to create multiple activities. Second, 
when you click on a particular button to load that new window, to show that new window or an activity as we now call it within Android, basically we need something called an intent. We work on something called intents. Now intents are classes within Java for Android that allows us to navigate and switch between activities and talk to entity uh, activities. So using intent class, we transfer from one activity to another activity. Active intents are something that are responsible for uh, talking to and transferring control from one activity to second activity. So ek screen se dusri screen mein jane ke liye hum ek intent ka istemal karte hain. We use intent to shuffle between various different activities. An intent is invoked on a button press. So whenever user presses an action, an intent is triggered, which then switches to a different activity. That's the basic logic of it. Okay. I will demonstrate that in this particular example. So what we do is we come to our activity main class and let me just minimize this to a certain next point. Okay. So now, um, as you can see, we already have this uh, components, basic segments are available and everything is. Okay, better please switch off your mics for now so that you don't make any issues. Okay, now um, let's come back to here. So when we start our app, we know something the default hello world is always created. delete. First thing we do is I change the layout. We have been talking about constraint layouts for a long time now. This time I need to change this to something else. Something else ke liye layouts mein aagaya, yahan pe there are multiple different layouts available. Constraint hai, linear layout hai, frame hai, table hai, and table row and spaces. We will talk about these four layouts later on. For now, we will be talking about something called linear layout. Linear layout basically a linear layout ke pe kaam karta hai. Iske do hai, ek horizontal, ek vertical. Vertical means you lay your components on top of each other. Horizontal means you have components ko sequentially organized. Karo. So when we sequentially organize components, we use something called horizontal layout. Vertical means we use components to organize kar rahe. So in order to use this, what I will do is I can come here, delete the constraint layout. Okay, sorry. If you delete it, see this, it's giving me nothing. Yeah, you cannot delete it. Uh, you need at least one layout within your Android code. Now to change this from constraint to linear, we need to go into our code. Code mein ke baad, what I will do, let me just increase. You will find that there is a code written here, android.constraintlayout.widget. Is pure ko mene kiya, bhaiyan, select. Yahan se yahan tak. Once you select it, now just simply type in linear. As soon as you type linear, your linear layout will pop up. Press enter. As soon as you do that, you will note in your component tree, linear layout has been created. And the code has been updated to ensure that you are now working in your linear layout. So, you have linear layout. Linear layout is time horizontal. It means components are stacked. What I need is I need in this vertical manner. So, again, I will go back inside my code. Inside this code, you need to start block start. XML ka code is block end. यहां पे आने के बाद मैं इसको कह दूंगा एंड्राइड बल्कि एंड्राइड भी लिखने की जरूरत नहीं आप सिर्फ लिख दो ओरिएंटेशन ठीक है तो ऑटोमेटिकली एंड्राइड स्लैश ओरिएंटेशन आ जाएगा यू क्लिक ऑन दिस ओरिएंटेशन एंड इट विल आस्क यू कि आपको हॉरिजॉन्टल चाहिए या वर्टिकल मैंने कह दिया भाईजान वर्टिकल कर दो बस तो एंड्राइड कोलन ओरिएंटेशन इज इक्वल टू वर्टिकल दिस इज द लाइन वी ऐड इन आवर कोड फॉर द एक्सएमएल डिजाइन तो नाउ ऑटोमेटिकली दिस हैज बीन कन्वर्टेड इनटू अ वर्टिकल लेआउट ओके अब वर्टिकल लेआउट का जादू क्या लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इन अ मोमेंट वर्टिकल लेआउट क्या करता है कि इफ आई गो इनसाइड द टेक्स्ट और मैं फॉर एग्जांपल बटन उठाता हूं एक बटन उठाया ड्रॉप किया तो एक बटन देखो ऊपर आ गया मैं दूसरा बटन उठाया ड्रॉप किया तो दूसरा बटन ऑटोमेटिकली उसके नीचे आ गया फिर तीसरा टेक्स्ट फील्ड उठाई ड्रॉप की तो टेक्स्ट फील्ड उसके नीचे आ गया फिर पासवर्ड उठाया ड्रॉप किया पासवर्ड उसके नीचे आ गया so what happens is that each component is automatically organized in a linear stack manner. This becomes very convenient and very easy when you have a very simple menu system. Okay. The more complex your environment will be, then we prefer a constraint layout. But if you are making a simple layout in the form, then basically linear layout works very easy. You can make all the things you can make. 
ठीक है अब हम बना रहे हैं कोविड ऐप वी नीड टू क्रिएट अ कोविड ऐप फॉर अ कोविड ऐप व्हाट आई विल डू इज आई विल कम इनसाइड माय गूगल देयर लेट मी सर्च इमेजेस डॉट गूगल यहां पे आने के बाद कोविड बैनर कोई सर्च कर लेते हैं ठीक है तो कोविड नाइनटीन पेंडेमिक ये बड़ा अच्छा सा बैनर आ गया मेरे पास मैंने कहा यार मुझे इसी को इस्तेमाल करना है मैं सेव एस इमेज की और लेट मी गो इन साइड माई ड्री ड्राइव यहाँ पे मैंने एक फोल्डर बनाया हुआ था किसी जमाने में एंड्रॉइड क्लास का यहाँ पे इमेजेस का मैंने एक फोल्डर बनाया हुआ और यहाँ पे कोविड बैनर आई विल सेव दिस पर्टिकुलर बैनर ओके सो आई सेव दिस इमेज हेम नाउ आई गो बैक इन साइड माई एंड्रॉइड आई गो बैक इन साइड दिजेट्स लेट मी ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप द इमेज हेयर इट विल आस्क मी वेयर इज योर इमेज आई डोंट हैव द इमेज राइट नाउ सो मैंने इसको किया कैंसिल आई गो बैक इन साइड माई code level i will search for those image folder and i have a covid banner let me control c copy this come back into android go into your resource folder open it inside your drawable right click or just simply control v paste it as soon as you paste it it will confirm which folder you want to save it in make sure you always select drawable not drawable 24 version then it will ask you do you want to rename it make sure it is renamed with uh, without any spaces it's recommended कि आपकी फाइल के अंदर देर शुड नॉट बी एनी स्पेसिस क्लिक ओके वंस यू डू दैट योर इमेज हैज बीन क्रिएटेड ओके इट गिव्स अस एन एरर आई थिंक इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ दिस डैशेस माइनस का जो साइन है समटाइम्स इट क्रिएट्स प्रॉब्लम सो आई विल रिफ्रैक्टर इसी के ऊपर राइट क्लिक किया रिफ्रैक्टर में जाके रीनेम में चले गए एंड लेट मी जस्ट रिमूव दिस डैशेज टू अंडर स्कोर्स ओके एंड देन रिफैक्टर रिफैक्टर मीन्स मेक ऑल द चेंजेस एंड नाउ यू सी दैट एरर हैज बीन रिमूव so file name must be as per uh, android standard no spaces no minus or such some kind of uh, wild cards should be inside your image just simple pure alpha numeric better again i will go into widget drag and drop let me put it here okay once i put it here now my covid image is here let me just double click on this my covid banner is here now because i'm using linear layout it is automatically organized at the top i can increase its size to a certain point if you want you can leave it to that point as well once you are here now what i need i need certain buttons okay so uh, you can use this thing so i can come here and student um, button i search for that and here you go so you see this i have a very nice icons available so i can say okay i want to use either this or this so me jaka let me use this one so i click on this right click save image as and i can say s t u d e n t student save it then i can say teacher button okay and then now we have a teacher button let me go and see hmm where is the teacher button gone ye bhi ho sakta hai but ye itna khaas nahi lag raha instead let's just use teacher icon b u w t one button and now you get a better see this so i can use any of this for me because we previously used a square one so i think let's find a square one maybe this one would be fine right so let's just click on this and this is giving me and brum 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 logo the copyright aa raha i don't want to use a copyright image for this purpose maybe this logo i can use okay so let me just save this image as and for this let me name it teacher so i have now created two buttons teacher and student that should do the trick next i will come inside my folder go inside the student right click go on to edit and go into the select in your ms paint just make sure you select a given area hit a crop and then save it so all other unnecessary components are automatically removed similarly i will write come here select the teacher right click and i will say edit once i have the teacher what i can do is i can okay let's do one thing let's just select this teacher and bring it here and oops control a control c control v aha uh, i need a photoshop for this purpose okay basically i wanted that teacher to appear inside this so that they both look exactly like same so we can do that uh, but we will let's do it later on for now uh, let me teacher i think it seems okay for me 
and I will leave it to this particular point. Okay. I will open Photoshop and I will edit this later on. So once we are here, again, I will select image and I will drop an image, but I have not imported the image inside my drawer. So this image is not being found. So I will come back here, go inside here, right click, right click, control C on both of these. Android, drawable, control V. Yes, inside the drawable. Okay. Yes, the name should be okay. And you will find both these images are here. Now I will load the widget student and let me go and select the student first. Click OK. So you notice the student logo is there. Then again, image, drop it here. And then I can say teacher and click OK. And the teacher logo is here. Let's just reduce the file size so that it becomes little less and maybe increase this so they both appear on the same. Okay, so they both appear now. So I have a simple menu here. Let's just click on text and okay. So now we have placed the text field in between. Now the beauty of linear layout is that as soon as I place the linear text in between, वो automatically adjust करके उसके दरमियान में लिया और layout set हो जाएगा. अब इस text field को select करते हुए I will scroll down. Let me say this should be for example 20 SP points. Okay, so thoda sa font bada ho gaya. Let me make it bold and center so that it appears at the center. Okay. Similarly, uh, we can say this should be, for example, uh, select student student and another below this teacher mark. Oops, not here. Click and drag and enter here. Same thing. I will just write S E L E C T select T E S teacher. And font size would be 20 SP. Make it bold and center. Oops. Okay. So now we have a, a simple front screen. Set. As soon as my app starts, I have a select student, select teacher available. Once I have these two options available, now if student is selected, it should go to the student registration. If teacher is selected, it should go to the teacher registration. Okay. Because both have and different uh, basic requirements. The student would have a role number, teacher would not have a role number, and then maybe we can have a department or whatnot. So now this one screen has been created for us. And you see, it's so wonderful and easy. So if you understand the basic concept, you can create app very easily, simple apps at least very easily. So once this is created, this is one activity. This is one activity that has been created. Now we need the second activity that what should happen when I click any of these screens. Okay. so. Um, Let's go and create the second activity first, and then we will come back and add the button event to trigger and load the second activity. Mm -hmm. So now what I do is that in order to create the second activity, you would have to come into Java. Now this second activity means second layout, second window that once I click on this student, another window should pop up, which window should that be? So I would say, okay, let's go inside Java, right click new. And at the bottom, you find activity and we will create the various activities. Again, you can create any of these activities that we see at the front end. I will start with empty activity as always. So I click on empty activity. Now it asks me what should be the activity name. Okay. So I will say activity, activity, let it be activity underscore S T U D E N T student. So I know this is my student activity. Generate a layout file. Yes, I need a layout file for that. So leave it uh, checked. Layout name should be activity st student launch error activity. Flal, we are not talking about that. We will talk about this later on. So leave it unchecked. All other things should be default. Click finish. Okay. So as soon as you do that, you will notice now two more files have been created. Both are considered as an activity student.java and activity student.xml. Okay. Let it load and automatically it will take a few seconds. Once it is done, you will find all errors are gone. Now activity student and activity student.java. Just like previously, we had activity main and main activity.java, two XML and Java files. Same thing for this thing. So if you go inside student activity, you again get an empty screen and a Java file that will deal with this empty screen code. So now basically means we have screen one, we have screen two. Similarly, we can have many screens that you want to work with. Now what we need to do is, very simple, design the second screen, what you want to do on this second screen. Same thing, I will still like to work with the linear layout. So, mujhe, I don't want to use constraint layout because sometimes constraint layout for a simpler layout creates more confusion. In this case, you know, this was just a simple layout. 
linear works beautifully all argument uh, components are linearly organized okay um, the only thing is these icon size are different i have opened photoshop i will adjust the size of icons in photoshop so they all look perfectly nice and well so i open the second again i will do one same thing image view let me but but before we go inside the image view i don't want to use constraint so let's change it so in order to change constraint layout again we go inside the code uh, where we have this written uh, this entire line android dot constraint layout dot widget all this just remove and write l i n e r and linear layout will pop up so i select linear layout the code will automatically get updated oops something else happened control z control z control z and yes so if i remove this i will use linear layout why there is an acha okay now we don't need this line so we just remove it we go back here and give a backslash so now it's all fine okay so we remove the concern line uh, sometimes it's automatic remove it in this case it wasn't i don't know why and then we will just write orientation and android or orientation pops up and we will say vertical okay so this is the line that we added manually to ensure that we have a vertical or layout so if i come back into design view you will find we have linear vertical layout okay now image drag and drop and i will again select the covid 19 banner so this banner is already there for me let me reduce its size well, let's just have the size set to this point okay so once this size size is set now basically i need certain heading um so maybe uh, i can say text view and in this text view let me give a text enter stud student uh vaccination record okay so this thing is done so let me scroll down 14 i usually prefer 20 sp so we increase the 20 sp let's just make it bold and centralized and if you want let's just correct the spelling vaccination space record okay so enter student vaccination record now this is simply what we need so now i will say enter name this text field is here um i will just use for example 14 sp and say name okay and then uh, i will add a from within my text field plain text below it where i will be required to give my name then plain text okay this plain text will be for example after name i can have my roll number and again i will make this 14 sp now i just have to create the components sorry okay so if you zoom into it little bit you will find name name roll number and then plain text is basically created below the roll number this time it will have text not name but roll number okay um obviously you if you don't want you can remove this text as well so if i select name this text is by default written if you don't want it just remove it fine uh after name roll number let's just create one more blank text here and this should be for example your um department which department you belong to so let me just have a plain text right now so i'm just adding few text fields maybe later on we can add a combo box here so that they can select a certain departments or faculties from within the list okay so you can do that uh, as well um, for now just leave it uh, as it is so we don't want to go into too much detail so i just remove this thing i select the department name and make sure this is also 14 sp so that it's more readable i think they are very small so let's just increase the size make it 18 sp name yes this is better roll number should also be 18 sp oops 18 sp and department should also be oops 18 sp okay so they are more um, readable now after that um, i think plain text one more time and i just need one more menu um, this can be my vaccination date and i can use again 18 sp and then 
I can use a date field instead of just simple date. So drag and drop the date here. So that only date is given in this particular layout. You can use something called calendars. If we don't want to go into too much detail right now, I don't know directly we have available or we need some widgets for that particular purpose. Hmm. I think this should do the trick. So vaccination date, I use the date text field. After vaccination date, let me just drop one more menu and I will say uh, vaccination uh, name. Okay, so which vaccination you got? Again, scroll down. So now basically we are just creating the menu that we want to display to the user. So all that requires is that we do that. And using linear layout, because these are supposed to be a linear menu, it becomes very easy to manage. Okay, and then again, I will just remove this name field here. You can give a tooltip here, for example, uh, name of vaccination, name of vaccination, R-E-C-I-E -E received. So which vaccination you got, please provide that name. So this becomes like a tooltip, like a helper. As soon as you click on it, the text will disappear. Same thing I can do here is in terms of a hint, I can write uh, that information like I've did here on hint vaccination name. I can say, uh, date you got, oops, you got vaccinated. Okay. So it becomes a little bit helpful. You want to read with that. Finally, plain text one more time, drop it at the bottom. So they are all organized in a nice way. And I think, uh, vaccination number and this would again be 18 SP. That should do the trick. And final, the number is supposed to be a numeric. So I will come inside this number tab again inside text, drag and drop the number here. Okay. So the number text is here and I can enter. Hmm. Hint. Uh, vaccination. Vaccine. Vaccination card number. Okay. So my vaccination card number is there. And then finally, let me just add a button and click add the button at the bottom. And this button should be a little bit thicker. So it has more apparent text to it. And zoom, 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 zoom. where's the text? Vertical match applications, alpha, all attributes. If you scroll down. Okay. I have not selected the button. That's why. Yeah, there we go. So uh, submit uh, our ECUD record. So I click on the submit record button. The font size should can be, for example, 30 SP. Make it bold, bro. Submit record button is there. So I enter my data. I click on submit button. The data is sent. So both of my venues are now created. Okay. Very simply, very easily. Before we go further, again, always keep an eye on your component tree. If you see these uh, red Icons means there's an error in this code. So if you hover your code over it, it will give you a tooltip. It says touch target is too small. Click the badge for details. If I click on the badge, it says the size of this text is too small for your screen and it might not be easily selectable. So what you need to do is you need to um, fix it. So just click on fix it and it's fixed. So if I click on this, it says the item may not have labeled readable by screen reader so it doesn't have a label which should be for example lum at the top i think let me hide these all attributes because they sometimes do confuse and where is the hint okay here is the hint uh, your university roll number okay so see this it's all now done now if i click on this one again says height is too small. So if you click on fix, you will note at one point, it will increase the minimum height to 48 pixels. You can even increase it larger than that as well. So if you need it for a larger, you can do that. Similarly, if I come back here again, it has this thing. Uh, ignore this check if it is false positive, no label here. So it's not an error, but it says that you should give an error. So I can say enter your name or full name. Okay, 
department again if i double click on it let me click size and hint will be your see you current dep department which you belong to and my data is all clear click on this thing all fixed all fixed this editable text again if i click on this size is too small and i fixed it double click on this size is again too small click on fix so keep an eye on this one thing android has a fantastic android studio has a fantastic tool that it will automatically fix your errors if you know that this is an error and it should be fixed to isse hum badi aaram se na apne sare masle hal kar sakte hain unlike in java python hame aadha ghanta ghanta errors nikalne mein lag jata hai android studio tells us very easily what is the error so just understand ki okay there is an error nothing to worry click on it there will be helps one way or another within studio to solve your errors so humne wo error solve karna hai bas aur kuch issue nahi hai once you do that now my application is created let me just close this this app is see this very easily quickly maine baaton baaton mein sari app bana di okay enter student name spelling galat hai let me just correct this s t u d e n t student vaccination record meri app ban gayi ab come back to main activity so this is my main activity this is my second student activity teacher i will create <clears throat> now what i need as soon as i click on student it should take me to this activity on a mobile phone this simple as that so we go on to our main activity okay once we are within our main activity now here we need to write the code that will allow us to switch between our activities okay so what we do is i come here uh, we already have on create event so let's just utilize it so scroll down one habit is we use a button uh, btn s t u d e n t okay so as soon as i write a button it gave me an error i says that there is an error here select this error press alter enter and the error will be resolved import class click on this and the class has been imported so we are using button class and it says that you need to import this statement if this statement is not there it will give an error and as soon as you hover your cursor over it or click on this button press alter enter a tool tip will appear solve it simple as that then within the on create event within the boundaries of on create event let's just write a code to create that event now is before that in previous class we used something called a simple function that was called on on click ke jab user button pe click kare to ek function call ho jata tha to wo ab technically itna munasib tarika nahi hai uske baraks hum ek something kehlate hain listener class ko call karte hain wo listener class kya karta hai ki it listens to certain event so for example in this case an image ke upar mujhe listener lagana hai ki jab user us image ke upar click kare तो उसके नतीजे में क्या हो ये मैं बटन के ऊपर कर सकता हूँ इमेज के ऊपर कर सकता हूँ टेक्स्ट के ऊपर कर सकता हूँ किसी भी कंपोनेंट के ऊपर हम इस चीज को लगा सकते हैं नो प्रॉब्लम विद दैट तो मुझे इमेज के ऊपर लगाना है कि यार जब मैं इमेज पे क्लिक करूं तो कोई इवेंट परफॉर्म हो तो उस इवेंट को टेक्निकली हम कहते हैं कि वी नीड टू लिसन टू दैट पर्टिकुलर इवेंट उसके लिए वॉट आई डू इज सबसे पहले आई विल से बटन स्टूडेंट इज इक्वल्स टू फाइंड बाय आई ठीक आर डॉट आई अब क्या चीज ढूंढू मैं मुझे वो स्टूडेंट वाला आइकॉन चाहिए जिसको मैं ढूंढ के यहाँ पे ले आऊ बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट दैट वेन्स द यूजर कम्स हेयर ही क्लिक्स ऑन दिस स्टूडेंट बटन देन सडन इवेंट शुड अकर वट इट तो वट आई विल डू आई विल कम हेयर एंड लेट मी नेम दिस एज बटन एस टी यू डी ई एन टी स्टूडेंट इट सेज रीफैक्टर रीनेम इट एस एड यस लेट्स रीनेम इट सो दिस हेज बिन रीनेम ओके सिमिलरली दिस इज बटन टीचर सो आई विल जस्ट से बी टी एन टी ई एस सी एस ई आर नाउ टेक्निकली यस वी हैव यूज्ड इमेज हियर लेकिन मैं अपनी सहूलत के लिए इसको बटन बना रहा हूं ताकि मुझे पता है कि वो बटन के तौर पे काम करेगा ठीक है इमेज ये भी इमेज है लेकिन इसके नाम फिलहाल हमें जरूरत नहीं ये है ये बटन के तौर पे बिहेव कर रहा है तो मैं एक इमेज को बटन बना सकता हूँ साडी मर्जी तो हमने एक इमेज को बटन बना दिया तो मैंने नेम भी बटन दे दिया सो आई नो दैट बटन इज गोइंग टू बी क्लिक सो नाउ वेन आई को बैक इन साइड माई मेन डॉट जावा एक्टिविटी क्लास इन साइड हेयर R dot I dot if I write button, I get these two buttons. Which button do you want to trigger the event for? I said button student, and then semicolon. So now my code will say that okay, we need to go into button. Now oh blah 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 blah. blah. unexpected implicit cast to button layout tag was image view okay so this basically has to be 
इमेज भी ओके नाउ इट्स ऑल ओके ओके बिकॉज टेक्निकली मैंने बटन इस्तेमाल नहीं किया था आई हैव नॉट यूज बटन हेयर आई यूज एन इमेज सो इट गेव मी एर दैट यू आर यूजिंग अ कोड फॉर बटन हाउ एवर दिस इज एन इमेज व्यू अगेन सी दिस इट करेक्टेड मी राइट अवे so that's the beauty of android it will help you a lot so use android's own mechanism of finding errors once you are done here now hopefully it should work to a way i want to do so i write button student dot set uh on click listener this one okay so now i want on click listener so this basically means that i create an image view because i have created an image view there yahan bhi humne image view istemal ki image view kyu istemal ki kyunki bhai ye to image hai na to ye bhi image view ka humne icon banaya tha yahan se but image widgets mein se jaake image view to main wahi keh raha hu yaar this is my image view in my activity in my main fetch that image view icon save it inside this variable called button student so this image view will be returned or so this image view will be returned here and saved in this button student variable Now I say button student dot set on click listener. So पहले उस icon को view में से लेकर आए, उस image को view में से लेकर आए using find view by id function. फिर हमने उसको कहा कि भाई on click listener लगा दो उसके ऊपर कि जैसे user click करे तो उसको listen करे कि इसपे क्या हरकत हो रही है. तो हमने image view के ऊपर on click listener function लगा दिया. अब इस function की कुछ अपनी ही requirements हैं. क्या requirements हैं? वो ये कहता है कि पहले लिखो new फिर लिखो आप व्यू ऑन क्लिक लिस्नर ठीक जैसे ही आपने ये किया दो तीन लाइनें खुद ब खुद एड हो गई अब हमने क्या किया था पहले सेट ऑन क्लिक लिस्नर बनाया उसके अंदर एज ए आर्ग्यूमेंट के तौर पे मैंने न्यू व्यू लिख के एंटर मारा तो नॉन क्लिक लिस्नर व्यू ऑन क्लिक लिस्नर एक मेथड एड हो गया और साथ ही साथ ब्रैकेट स्टार्ट हुआ ब्रैकेट खत्म हुआ सेमी कॉलन ये फंक्शन टेक्निकली यहां पर खत्म हो रहा है सेमी कॉलन का ये क्या हुआ हमें पता है कि जावा के अंदर न्यू इज यूज फॉर क्रिएटिंग न्यू ऑब्जेक्ट बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ठीक वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट सो व्हाट वी हैव डन हियर इज दिस इज मैकेनिज्म कॉल्ड क्रिएटिंग अ रन टाइम अनोनिमस ऑब्जेक्ट तो यहां पे हमने क्या किया भाई कि हमने कहा एक इमेज लो व्यू में से इमेज ले आओ व्यू में से हमने इमेज लेकर आ गया वंस सॉरी व्यू में से हम इमेज लेकर आ गया वंस वी फेच दैट इमेज we said on that image assign an action listener on click listener so when a user clicks on it listener means that it would perform a certain task so we are listening to an on click event event means something that is happening by the external force so a user as an external force he will click on that button so an event is triggered so monitor that event as soon as it happens then generate a run time class called new online uh, on click listener and certain code is written and on this code there is automatically on click event written now inside this we will write our code okay but let's first test this so i will use the alert t o s t toast dot make test we have been using this but this time i will be using something called get application context get application context comma um b u w t on button c l i c k s t u d e a a n t student c l i c k d click and comma t o s t toast dot length short dot show now this is the method that we have been using previously as well toast is like an alert message so in um, javascript we use alert method uh, that pops up an alert on a browser window similarly toast is something that generates an alert message on your window screen make text create a text here we use get application context previously we used this mm -hmm. because we use this in a directly its own method but now uh, we are calling this toast method from as runtime anonymous class this is a runtime event that it will be created so when user clicks on it an event listener will at the runtime create a new class called action listener it will have a method called on click that method will execute its task and then vanish away destroy itself so on the runtime humne ek class bana ke uske method ko call karke action perform karaya to jo hi user is button pe click karega 
as soon as the user clicks on the button at the run time a new class is created called view dot on class listener method is executed and an event is performed and then that class is destroyed okay i hope it really makes sense now this is something that we should have done in java creating new runtime classes and that so i will not go into details of how these runtime classes work or anonymous classes sometimes as we call them how they should be created and work with okay our task just basically follow this code and create a pop up message let's just run this code to see if everything is fine or not so what this will do it will go compile build and run and as soon as i click on that particular image it will give me a message for now called alert once this is done our code is all set then we will create something called intent now the idea is that as soon as i click on student this main activity is transferred to the activity of a student so as soon as i click on a student that student main activity is deloaded and a new activity is loaded what it a new window pops up so we set that by using something called intent we do that by something called intent intent allows us to control activities intent intent allows us to talk to various different activities okay and we will be using intent a lot for now we are using intent to switch between two different activities launch successful let's come back here wait for the app to start and here we go wonderful beautiful little app so as soon as i click on student button student click so that means my event and this image is working as a button giving animations and effects a secondary issue nothing is happening here on a button as soon as i click button is click you see this pop up message means it's working now let's just come back into main activity now how should i switch from this activity to this activity so i said we use something called intent okay and s w i t or in fact load s t u d e n t student activity okay so we create a variable called load student activity is equals to new intent is created okay now as hopefully you should have already noted that as soon as we wrote intent and press enter and intent import was automatically included so if you get an error here again make sure you need to import the intent so just hover your cursor over it press alter enter it will tell you that import this line 90% it does automatically but still if it doesn't make sure it is imported in your line once this import statement is done now come back inside the intent and this time i will use something called get application context comma uh, what was our activity name acti activity student dot class semicolon okay now what's in intent intent is a java's class name java ki bani banayi class hai bhai theek is class ka kaam kya hai ki wo mukhtalif activities ke darmiyan mein baatein karti hai मुख्तलिफ इंटेंट एक्टिविटीज के दरमियान कोऑर्डिनेशन और उनके दरमियान डेटा ट्रांसफर करने में हमें काम आती है सो वी यूज इंटेंट टू स्विच बिटवीन एक्टिविटीज एंड डू वेरियस डिफरेंट टास्क सो हेयर वी एट सेड इंटेंट लोड स्टूडेंट एक्टिविटी मैंने अपना नाम दे दिया भाई कोई टेक्निकल नाम नहीं है मैंने अपना नाम दे दिया इसको फिर न्यू जावा का की है न्यू इंटेंट इस क्लास का ऑब्जेक्ट बनाया हमने इस ऑब्जेक्ट को हमने कंस्ट्रक्टर कॉल में दो आर्ग्यूमेंट पास किए पहला आर्ग्यूमेंट गेट एप्लीकेशन कॉन्टेक्ट जो चीज मैंने यहाँ पे यूज की थी यहां पहले दूसरे एग्जांपल्स में प्रीवियसली वी हैड यूज दिस वर्ड हेयर वी हैव यूज गेट एप्लीकेशन कॉन्टेक्स बिकॉज वी आर कॉलिंग दिस फ्रॉम अ न्यू रन टाइम क्लास सो वी आर टेलिंग इट गेट करंट एप्लीकेशन इन विच दिस सिस्टम इज रनिंग दिस कोड इज रनिंग गेट द एक्चुअल कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ दैट कोड जहां पे ये कोड अभी चल रहा है जिस एप्लीकेशन की वजह से ये लाइन चल रही है वो ही एप्लीकेशन का रेफरेंस ले आओ भाई उसी एप्लीकेशन उसी प्रोजेक्ट को ले आओ किसी और को पत ले आओ ठीक है, because I am running a runtime, so this is a way of pointing to yourself. मैं अपने आप को बात कर रहा हूँ भाई। दो केक लाओ, एक मेरे लिए और दूसरा भी मेरे लिए। एक मैं हूँ, दूसरा भी मैं हूँ। बोल सकते हैं? So we are referring to our own self. तो यहाँ भी हम वो यरकत कर रहे हैं। Get application context basically means that we are calling ourselves, but ensuring that we only call ourselves. ऐसा नहीं कि मैंने कहा दो केक लाओ, एक मेरे लिए और दूसरा कोई और खा गया। बात समझे? so we need to ensure that we use this intent uh, get application context fir us activity ka naam jisko aapne load karna hai 
डॉट क्लास डॉट क्लास क्या हुई अब हमें पता है कि हम डॉट जावा फाइल पे काम कर रहे हैं जावा फाइल जब कंपाइल हो जाती है ना डॉट क्लास फाइल बनाती है जावा के अंदर हमने पढ़ा होगा तो वेन एवर वी कंपाइल है जावा कोड इट टर्न इन टू डॉट क्लास बाइट कोड फाइल तो दिस इज बेसिकली कॉलिंग दैट जावा क्लास फाइल दैट गो इन साइड एक्टिविटी स्टूडेंट डॉट जावा बट नॉट जावा इट्स क्लास फाइल एंड लोड दैट क्लास फाइल वंस दैट फाइल इज लोडेड नाउ वी नीड टू एग्जीक्यूट इट to execute it we say borrow start the activity and name of that activity is load student activity now we call the function ab start kar do activity bhai intent ka taluk ban gaya hamari dusri activity ke sath ab us activity ko shuru karo shuru karne ke liye humne method call kiya start activity once this method is executing we tell it bhai kaun si activity ke sath aapka intent bana hua hai humne kaha hamara intent bhai iske sath bana hua hai स्टूडेंट वाली के साथ हमने कहा स्टूडेंट वाली को लोड करो हमने यहाँ पे आए इस बटन को किया है एग्जीक्यूट लेट्स वेट फॉर दिस गाय टू रन एंड रीलोड दिस एप नाउ वॉट शुड है इंटेंट के भाईजान आपने उस चीज को लोड करना है ठीक है तो ये वो स्टैंडर्ड कोड है जो हमें करने होते हैं अब लाइक आई साइड मैंने इन चीजों को माइनर डिटेल्स को डिस्कस नहीं किया ठीक है अज्यूमिंगली कुछ चीजें जावा की हैं कुछ चीजें ऐसी हैं जो हमें बस करनी करनी है तो हमें बस पता नहीं चाहिए ठीक है बट इवेंचुअली आइडिया क्या मिला हमारी एप्लीकेशन बन गई आइडिया क्या मिला मैंने बैक पे क्लिक किया जो बाय डिफॉल्ट बटन आता है मेरी स्टूडेंट पे क्लिक किया मेरी एप्लीकेशन बन गई बहुत आला जबरदस्त मैंने यहाँ पे आके नाम दिया मैंने यहाँ पे आके अपना रोल नंबर दिया ठीक है इसको कर देते हैं मिनिमाइज इसी तरह से मैं फिर डिपार्टमेंट दे देंगे हम इसी तरह से हम वैक्सीनेशन डेटा दे देंगे जो भी नंबर होगा मेरा वैक्सीनेशन डेट का मैंने वैक्सीनेशन नेम दे दिया अगेन मैंने नंबर दे दिया और मैंने सबमिट पे क्लिक किया नाउ एज सुन एज आई क्लिक ऑन सबमिट अ थर्ड एक्टिविटी शुड लोड अप लेट्स गो इन टू दिस बेसिकली यहां तक कोड समझ में आ गया अब हमें इस कोड को रुप्लीकेट करना है जब मैं इस भाई के बटन पे क्लिक करूं तो कुछ और हो तो मैं आ जाऊंगा मेन एक्टिविटी के अंदर मैंने कहा यार यहां से लेके यहां तक मनुष मारा मैंने कोड तुम्हारा किया कॉपी मेन एक्टिविटी में चले गए ऑन क्रिएट के अंदर गए यहां पे आने के बाद इसको पेस्ट मारा सारी चीज वैसे के वैसे आ गई सिर्फ ऊपर जो था हमने लिख देंगे बी यू डबल टी यू एन बटन बटन एस टी यू डी एन टी स्टूडेंट सेमी ठीक है इसने यहाँ पे वही लाइन दे दी मैंने एरो पे क्लिक किया अल्टर एंटर प्रेस किया तो उसने उस क्लास को होपफुली ऐड कर दिया होगा बटन को देखो मजे की बात खुद ही सॉल्व ठीक उसके बाद यहाँ पर आ गए अब उसने कह दिया कि भाई बटन स्टूडेंट है तो बटन स्टूडेंट है तो ये बटन स्टूडेंट मेरे पास तो है ही नहीं ये कौन से बटन स्टूडेंट को ढूंढ रहे हो हमने कहा सबर करो एक्स में आ जाते हैं सबमिट रिकॉर्ड पे गए मैंने कहा यार इसकी आई जो है ना बटन को चेंज कर दो बी टी एन एस यू बी एम आई टी सबमिट कर दिया मैंने फिर मैं वापस एक्टिविटी जावा में गए यस रिफैक्टर कर दो इसको बटन सबमिट कर दिया हमने होपफुली एरर गायब सेम कोड अब मुझे टोस्ट की वजह से जरूरत नहीं है मैंने टोस्ट को कमेंट कर दिया डबल बैक स्लैश है इंटेंट पे गए लोड एक्टिविटी न्यू इंटेंट कौन सी एक्टिविटी लोड करनी चाहिए अब हम उस पर आ जाते हैं अगर ये बैक का बटन होता तो मैं एक्टिविटी कौन सी यूज करता मेन एक्टिविटी डॉट क्लास ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहां पर इसको बना ही देते हैं मेन एक्टिविटी डॉट क्लास और अब इसको टोस्ट मैसेज भी डाल देते हैं थैंक यू फॉर आर यू रजिस्टरिंग योर डेटा स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक है क्या ओके ठीक है लेट्स जस्ट ट्राई दिस तो इसको हमने रन किया तो वही कोड है सब चीजें वही हैं बटन सेट ऑन क्लिक लिस्नर ऑन क्लिक लिस्नर इज जस्ट लाइक ए लिस्नर दैट वी स्टैब्लिश मीन समथिंग दैट इज लिस्निंग टू द इवेंट्स दैट अकर ओके ऑन क्लिक इज एन इवेंट एंड देर गिव मी एन एरर बी एस सॉफ्टवेयर रजिस्ट्रेशन बी एट एन स्टूडेंट इज नॉट सपोर्टेड की कहते हैं भाई इतना बड़ा एरर क्यों दे दिया ओके okay, उसने कहा कि चेंजेस अप्लाई नहीं की हुई है डज नॉट सपोर्ट ए वैल्यू इनिशियलाइजेशन 
तो आपको बेसिकली करना क्या पड़ेगा कि इसको करना पड़ेगा बंद बंद करके फिर खोलना पड़ेगा कुछ चेंजेस ऐसी हैं इन एंड्रॉइड दैट आर नॉट डायरेक्टली अप्लाइड ओके फॉर दैट यू नीड टू क्लोज द एंड्रॉइड री रन द एप एंड देन री एग्जीक्यूट इट बिकॉज वी हैव चेंज द वेरिएबल नेम्स बिकॉज वी अप्लाइड सम एडिशनल कोड सो समाइम्स दिस थिंग हैपन्स सो वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज यू नीड टू चेंज दैट and let it load wait a second there we go so i click on student page aa gaya yahan pe naam de diya maine apna theek hai roll number department a verification date maine name de diya vaccination ka vaccination number de diya click on submit thank you for registering your data and it is now going back into my main page meri app ban gayi बहुत सिंपल सादा सी ऐप स्टूडेंट पे क्लिक किया ऐप बन गई ठीक है एक और हरकत इसमें वेरी क्विकली करते हैं हमारे पास चार मिनट बचते हैं आई कैन डू द सेम थिंग लेट मी क्रिएट फाइल और लेट जस्ट गो इन टू जावा राइट क्लिक एंड गो इन साइड न्यू एक्टिविटी एंड लेट जस्ट क्रिएट अ न्यू बेसिक एक्टिविटी ठीक है इसको हमने नाम दे दिया एक्ट आई वी आई टी एक्टिविटी थैंक यू ऐसे ही दिल कर रहा है थैंक यू कर दिया हमने ठीक है फिनिश कर दिया फिनिश कर दिया बन जा ठीक सो नाउ दिस इज वेट फॉर इट वेट फॉर इट वेट फॉर इट फाइनली इट्स बैक एक्टिविटी थैंक यू इज देयर अगेन गिव इट फ्यू सेकेंड जो रेड लाइन आ रही है दो सेकंड में गायब हो जाएंगे क्योंकि अभी तक उसको बना रहा है तो बी पेशेंट विद एंड्रॉइड वॉच द बॉटम एरो नॉट सो दैट मीन इट इज स्टिल डूइंग समथिंग डोंट वरी सडनली सर एरर क्यों आ गया थोड़ा सा सुकून से टाइम लो उम्मीद है कि चंद लम्हों में ये एरर हमारे पास जो है जो ना गायब हो जाएगा गायब हो जा भाई मेरे and i'm getting so many errors for whatever purpose if i go inside ek minute i think some mistake ho gayi let me say delete ठीक मैं एक्टिविटी मेन को डिलीट कर दिया डिलीट हो गई लेट्स डू इट वन मोर टाइम न्यू एक्टिविटी एम टी एक्टिविटी एंड एक्टी आई वी आई टी एक्टिविटी अंडरस्कोर टी एच एन के वाई ओ यू थैंक यू ठीक क्लिक ऑन फिनिश चेंजेस हैव बीन मेड टू एंड्रॉइड कोड रजिस्ट्रेशन इन मेमोरी एंड ऑन डिस्क लोड फाइल सिस्टम कीप मेमोरी चेंजेस and have we go theek hai so hopefully this time it should work fine because now i have uh, activity thank you dot xml and this thing now errors are gone theek hai so i come back here um, i think it's two is written because previously also it created the same file so now i get a thank you email here again i will do the same thing um, i will go inside the constraint layout or we can use a constraint layout for this particular purpose anyway because i'm i intend to do a very simple thing so let's just create an image and drop and drag and drop image here give it covid banner and drag and drop this covid banner here click on the blue icons for the constraints to take in place then let's go on to the text click and drag and drop the text here um what i will do is i will increase um do this click on okay so i hope uh, this app activity is basically understandable so we created these multiple pages uh, users aur hum iske tamam activities ko humne create kiya let me run it it one more time 
सो वट वी डिड वॉज हमने मैं थोड़ा सा रिकॉर्डिंग पर्पज के लिए बिकॉज आई मिस्ड आउट द लेक्चर्स और वो सारे रिकॉर्ड नहीं हुए ओके तो उसको फिर हम थोड़ा सा कंप्लीट कर देते हैं यहाँ पे तो हमने एक थैंक यू ऐप की भी एक्टिविटी बना दी थी जिसके अंदर सिंपल कोविड का लोगो लगाया थैंक यू एंड बैक किया एंड इस बैक बटन के ऊपर भी हमने एंड में वही कोड लगाया कि सिंपल बटन के ऊपर जब यूजर क्लिक करे तो सेट ऑन क्लिक लिस्नर इवेंट कॉल किया ऑन दिस इवेंट लिस्नर हमने व्यू ऑन लिस्नर फंक्शन एक लाइव क्लास क्लास की एनोनिमस और उसके थ्रू फिर हमने इंटेंट के थ्रू वापस मेन एक्टिविटी पे रिडायरेक्ट किया सो वंस यूजर क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन इट विल रिडायरेक्ट एस टू द मेन इवेंट सिमिलरली वी टुक द स्टूडेंट एक्टिविटी डिजाइन जो हमने ऑलरेडी बनाई हुई थी we took the xml file so we go inside the code and we copied all this xml code of creating the components okay then here we created a new activity called activity teacher and we go inside this activity teacher xml <clears throat> inside this we just created a same way changed the layout to our linear layout and then pasted the entire code again the same student code and removed the roll number content so now i have two pages that exactly look like same and then let's just change this to back to teacher so we have a student activity design which has a student information we have a teacher activity and it only took us 2 seconds to create because we did student we created a new blank activity changed the linear layout and then copied the entire code by going into xml copy this entire code and paste it into the xml code of my android again student teacher activity that's done then in student activity we have already created a button find the event button and then use the intent to redirect to the end activity which is this end button here this end form same code then i just copied from this dot java file same code and pasted in dot activity java for teacher code so both are now pointing towards the same end file and when they reach here they again will go back so my app now looks like this i go inside the student my student is working i provide the data click on submit record तुम्हारा फाइनल स्क्रीन आ जाएगी थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर रजिस्ट्री आई क्लिक ऑन बैक आई कम बैक टू द मेन मेन्यू आई गो इन साइड द टीचर इफ इज अ टीचर ही विल प्रोवाइड इज डेटा क्लिक ऑन सबमिट फाइनल ऐप आ गई हमारे पास ठीक है इस पे पर फिर बैक किया वापस चले गए नाउ इन नेक्स्ट और इन फ्यूचर क्लास मे बी नॉट दिस वीक आफ्टर दैट वीक वी विल ऑल्सो डू डेटा बेस कनेक्टिविटी तो यूजिंग एंड्रॉइड हाउ वी कनेक्ट विद एस सर्वर और हाउ वी यूज फायर बेस सो वॉट द आइडिया वुड बी दैट वंस यू प्रोवाइड दिस डेटा यू क्लिक ऑन सबमिट the record is actually saved and connected with internet and saved on your database so that your record actually goes somewhere then also data validation needs to be performed here name is entered if i click on now see this blank data is there so that should not happen it should give me a warning please enter your name please enter your department vaccination date format should be correct name or your vaccination there and vaccination number should be there so all this data should be validated before this submit button can actually send the data to the server and the thank you screen is there so we will be working on this later on but you can see this currently on the basis of a button few events are already triggered so i can use any of this event okay so i hope this is explanatory middle part of this certain part of this lecture was not recorded but you get the idea follow it along and hopefully it will be um, easy to follow uh, basically the same copy paste approach was applied humne ek i image banayi fir uske upar button ke upar event lagaya wo dusri activity pe gaya फिर उस एक्टिविटी पे बटन लगाया वो तीसरी एक्टिविटी पे गया फिर उस पे बटन लगा के वापस मेन एक्टिविटी में हम आ गए इस तरह से हम मल्टीपल एक्टिविटीज के ऊपर भी काम कर सकते हैं ठीक है